We did have a little bit of sunshine around briefly this morning, but a lot of us have been watching the cloud cover build in like we are seeing right now on campus in East Lansing. It's also coming with some very muggy conditions. 76 is your current temperature in both Lansing and Jackson. Dew points this morning also up around the 70 degree mark. That is some very muggy air. We've been dealing with it through the weekend. We'll have it around until at least tomorrow, but there actually is a cold front moving on through that will provide some relief for the second half of the week. Of course, as that cold front encounters the warm muggy air, it is leading to some showers and thunderstorms. We'll be dealing with a few rounds of showers and storms as we go through the day today. The first round is continuing to inch its way closer. It has weakened considerably as it moved in off the lake, but we are still watching one cell, namely down near the Kalamazoo area that is looking a little bit stronger. For the most part, that's slowly drifting off to the northeast. So a lot of us end up missing out on this first round of stuff, but we will be dealing with some more storms as we head into the afternoon hours. You can already see a couple more lines developing back near Iowa and northern Illinois. These are what we are watching out for this afternoon, and there is a threat for some severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has placed us in the slight risk category for later on this afternoon. The biggest threats really are coming from some strong damaging winds. Also, a little bit of hail is possible. A tornado threat, it's not zero, but it is very low. Future track this morning is showing most of the storm activity later this morning, passing just off to our north. Still, there's a chance for a few spotty showers, maybe a weak thunderstorm through the late morning hours. Most of us get through the morning dry, I think. Into the second half of the day, the story is not quite the same. We have that line of showers and storms firing back up right around the lunch hour. They'll be moving on through. The big question is, will this cloud cover stick around until the early afternoon? If we can clear out a little bit, we can rebuild that instability, and that would be leading to some stronger storms once we head into the later evening hours. Our biggest time, best time frame for any severe weather would be between the 6 and 8 o'clock hour, although it looks like we may be dealing with these rain showers all the way into the first part of the overnight tonight. Most of the night, though, is just looking mostly cloudy, a few spotty rain showers here and there, and that's also looking like a lot of our day on Tuesday. Mostly cloudy skies with some showers, maybe even a weak thunderstorm into the afternoon hours. We'll keep these rain showers around to the start of your day on Wednesday. By Wednesday evening, though, we should start to clear out and should send us into some much more comfortable temperatures behind that cold front. Predicted rainfall shows many of us seeing the potential for up to an inch of rain, and if we see one of these cells move overhead with some very heavy rain, could see a few places up around the two or three inch mark as well. But for today, it is a high of 85 degrees, showers and thunderstorms, a couple rounds of them today, severe weather possible as we head into the later afternoon and evening hours. For tonight, it's a low of 67 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, a couple rain showers linger through the night. We'll have a few rain showers around mainly in the afternoon hours tomorrow, possibly a weak thunderstorm. Otherwise, mostly cloudy tomorrow with a high of 82 degrees. We're in the low to mid 80s through the rest of the work week. Another front moves our way on Thursday, leading to a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms. But behind that front, we are seeing some beautiful sunny weather move in for the weekend. Yeah, but definitely stay alert today since there's kind of some unknowns about the afternoon. Yeah, probably not a bad idea to download our Storm Shield app just mm -hmm. to keep an eye on the radar. Definitely. Thank you.